Amplify Science, Plate Motion, Chapter 1, Lesson 1 1.4, Analyzing Patterns at Plate Boundaries. We we'll begin with the warm-up, and in this warm-up, you are choosing between two claims, which becomes a poll, so we pull the results up in front of the class and talk about where we're at, whether Claim 1, plates move, which causes earthquakes, or Claim 2, earthquakes cause the plates to move, is the most rational explanation with what we know. Then to investigate further, we hop over to step two, our simulation, and you get uh, some time in class to run the simulation, building out of region two, uh, making some landforms, and running it with earthquakes on, uh, paying close attention to the relationship between the movement and earthquakes, trying to gather evidence to support or refute the claims. Once we're finished with the simulation, in that step, uh, you're given a handout and I'll hop over to, it's in our drive folder of materials. Uh, so here we see the modeling of plate boundary handout. Uh, you've got a map, notice it's focused on South America and Africa and in the key it mentions about where the Mesosaurus fossils were found. So they want to make sure it's clear you understand why we're focused on these two continents and this plate boundary because it ties back to the Mesosaurus fossils uh, and the unit question and the chapter question we're trying to to solve. Uh, so at the dashed line where there's the cross section, I have you first uh, draw what you think the cross section would look like below. And then in the second part, we give you the second handout and we say, okay, uh, one of these two is what a, a cross section would look like. Yours may have greater detail. Actually, I hope it would. But the most simplistic version of a correct answer is one of these two. We will cut that out. Uh, if it should replace your drawing, uh, you're welcome to glue it over your drawing, or if you think you're drawing, you want your drawing to remain, you can glue it up over the top here where the instructions are, and that way you can reference all three at the same time. From there, uh, we're going to split the day kind of between step four and five. Uh, lesson four requires, or lesson 1.4 requires us to have a discussion about whether or not we think the plates moved suddenly or gradually. So there are two new claims unrelated to the first two. Uh, this has to do with speed of movement, and we'll investigate that, gathering up on the whiteboard support or refuting evidence for the two claims. Once we're finished with that step, uh, you have some data entry. In other words, you are explaining based on what you learned from the lesson about the Mesosaurus fossil location. And then you do a self-assessment. It says optional. We don't do optional in here. We're doing all the steps. Then you do a self-assessment of where you think you're at uh, with these topics. And that is all of Lesson 1.4.